By posting faceless videos, this channel has earned anywhere from one to $19,000 in the past 30 days. In fact, there are many other channels doing this on YouTube and earning thousands per month. And in this video, I'll show you how you can easily create these videos and gain lots of views by using AI. So the first thing you need to do is get the script for your video. Now you can go about doing this in two different ways. The first way is by using ChatGPT. Once on ChatGPT, you're going to ask it this prompt. And the prompt says, give me a motivational speech about, and over here you want to insert what you want your speech to be about. So just briefly explain, or you can explain in detail, you decide what you want. And then continuing, the speech should, and over here you want to insert the speech characteristics or the flow of how you want your speech to go. Meaning if you want it to start up very dramatic and end mellow, or if you want it to start up very mellow and gradually get more dramatic, this is essentially what this section is asking for. And then it says after listening, the listener should feel and then you want to insert a description of how you want your listener to feel after listening to this. So what you want to do now is fill in the blanks for this prompt. As you can see, my prompt says, give me a motivational speech about failing but having to succeed again. The speech should start by being relatable to the listener but then dramatically increasing in motivation as it goes. After listening, the listener should feel deeply touched, inspired and ready to take action. It's that simple. Use the template I give you and formulate your speech and then hit enter. Then once that GPT has gone ahead and generated your script, what you want to do is read through it, make sure you like the way it goes, make sure it makes sense to you and then you could regenerate it or edit it if you wish. Now that's the first way you could go ahead to generate your script. The second way you can generate your script is by just coming onto a notepad or maybe Google Docs and then create your own speech. You choose whichever method that you prefer. Once you have your speech done, it's time to move on to the next step. Now the next thing you need to do is generate the voiceover for your video. Now you can also go about doing this in two different ways. The first way you can go about doing this is by using 11 Labs. You can find a link for 11 Labs in the description of this video. But once on 11 Labs, you want to ensure that you are in the section called speech synthesis. And then once in this section, what you need to do over here where it says text, you want to insert your motivational speech into this box. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to copy only the first two paragraphs of the speech so that I could just generate that. But once you've copied your speech, again, when you're doing this, you're copying the entire speech, you're going to copy it, come back over to 11 labs, and then you're going to paste it in. And then once your speech is inserted and you've edited it, what you now need to do is to go to where it says settings. And from here, you're going to click on this drop down arrow of this first section. And then you're going to look through the different voices that it's given you. And then you're going to play them and choose the voice you think best suits your motivational videos. Now keep in mind, it is a motivational video. So you want to choose a voice that sounds inspiring, a voice that evokes emotion. Now, once you have selected your voice, you actually can't just go ahead to hit generate. And the reason why you cannot generate your speech just like this is because the voice won't have any emotion. Now, the only way I could explain this to you is by showing it to you. So let's go ahead to hit generate so you could see what I mean. Now that we've generated the voice, just take a listen to what it sounds like let's start with a simple truth that each one of us can relate to we've all failed at some point in our lives now after listening to this it doesn't sound bad but it actually kind of sounds a little bit monotonous but don't worry all is not lost because there is a simple fix to make the voice sound more inspiring all you want to do is come back over to the top where it says settings and you want to click on this drop down arrow under voice settings and over here what you'd want to do is reduce the stability and then the clarity you want to bring it all the way to about 92. now you can play this if you want but this is the setting which works best for me and and then once you've done that, you can now generate your audio. Let's start with a simple truth that each one of us can relate to. Yes, you heard me right. As you can see, there was a bit more variation in the voice, which is perfect for motivational videos because if you've ever listened to any of them, you will know that these speakers fluctuate their voices with almost every sentence they say. So that is something that is absolutely necessary to enhance the feel of your motivational video. So once you've generated it, all you need to do is download it by simply clicking the download button there. Now there is another way that you can go about generating your voiceover and that is simply by using your own voice. Now before you say, oh no, I don't want to use my voice, this isn't going to work, just simply take a look at this channel. He has over 600,000 subscribers and he uses his own voice for all of his videos. 
and they get lots of views. In fact, his most popular video has 3.9 million views so whether you use a voice from 11 labs or your own voice once you have your voiceover ready it's time to move on to the next step now it's time for you to actually create this video that'll gain you all these views and money it's really easy to do as long as you follow what i show you and in order to do this we're going to be using in video you can find the link in the description below or you could use a preferred editor if you want the choice is yours but once on in video what you want to do is come on over to where it says editor and click this plus button and then from here you want to click where it says landscape and then once you've done that, it's going to take you to a scene. But the first thing it's going to ask you is if you have any files to upload. This is where you want to upload the voiceover of your speech that you downloaded from 11 Labs or upload your very own voiceover. And then once your voiceover is uploaded, you will be able to see it in this section here. And in order to add it into your scene, all you need to do is click on the plus button. And then once you have the voiceover in, you need to find background music to match that voiceover. Because that's the thing that really makes these motivational videos. Now in order to add it in, it's very simple. What you want to do is click where it says music. And then from here, what you want to do is do a search for the type of music that you would want. So in our case, we can do a search for motivational music. And then once you've searched for the type of music you've wanted, you want to scroll through all the different options it gave you and listen to what they sound like. And then once you found a background sound that you think will work well, in order to add it into your scene, you need to ensure that the playhead is at zero. And then once it's here, Go next to the sound that you wanted and then all you need to do is click this button to add it as a layer. Now once you added it in, if you'll notice at the beginning it normally has a space. All you need to do to remove this is drag the little playhead to the beginning of your scene and then just like that it's gone. And then you can drag this to zero. Now you can't just leave your music like this. Like this it's going to sound way too overpowering. Instead you need to reduce the volume. Now in order to do this you want to ensure that you have your background music selected. And then you'll see this option at the top here which says volume and fade. You want to click onto this. And then I recommend reducing your volume to anywhere from negative 10 to negative 15. See which one sounds good for your ears. So now that you have your speech and the background music inserted, you're almost done. Now what you need to do is add in the different scenes, the visuals for your video. This part is also easy, so don't worry. In order to do this, what you want to do is come over to where it says videos. You want to click onto this. And then in the search bar, you want to search for things that are related to your video. So what I like to start off with is a simple search for motivation. Motivation. and then once you've done that see through the options in video has given you and find one that you like and then once you found one that you like in order to add it in it's very simple all you want to do is put your map over the video you want to input and then click add as a layer and then it's going to pop up this page what you want to do from here is click add and then once your video has been added in what you have to do now is play it so that you can adjust the length of the video what i recommend is that you only keep one scene for one to two pauses what i mean by that is this if you wanted you can end this first video here by dragging into this way and then it would last for this one pause or if you wanted you can make it last for two pauses you decide which one works best for you and i just showed you how to do it all you need to do is drag but then once you have adjusted the length of your video you need to now adjust the look of your video and there's two different ways to adjust the look that will work every single time hands down in keeping your viewer engaged and the first way is by making your video black and white now in order to do this what you want to do is ensure that you have your video selected and then you want to click here where it says adjust colors and then it's going to pop up this page what you want to do is click this one which says artists that work and then you want to raise the intensity now it's going to make it pretty dark so don't go way too intense with this so now compare without the filter but with the filter it sets a better tone for your motivational video now the second way you can go about editing this is by adding an effect now in order to do this you want to come to this tiny little icon here which says effects click onto it and then it's going to open this section here and the effect i recommend you use is focus blur all you want to do is click onto it and then raise the intensity to 10 and then the size to 2. if you do more than that it's really going to distort it if you do less there's nothing there so you choose whichever one you prefer but honestly my favorite is the black and white and that's it for adding in your images. Now that you've done this for the first scene, you want to keep doing this for all the scenes of your video. You play the audio and see what it's talking about. You then go to videos and search for something you added in 
and then you add an effect or make it black and white do this for your entire video and then we need to move on to the next important aspect now once you've added in all your clips and ensure that they're all edited next thing you need to do is add text now this will really level up your video if we go over to a sample video on youtube as you can see it's just simple text of your speech to the center of your video and it's super easy to do just follow these steps what you want to do is come over to the section here where it says text and then you want to click onto this and then once you've clicked onto text you want to click on the plus button next to add a heading and then once you've done that what you need to do from there is drag this entire text holder for the entirety of your motivational video once you've done that ensuring that you have it selected what you want to do is click onto where it says font and the font you want to be using is this font called Almany. You don't have to use this font. I know everybody can't use the same font, so you can choose a different font, but this is the font I feel like looks the best. But then once you've selected a font you like, you need to now adjust the size and the size I recommend you use is size 80. Now once you've done that, you've edited how your text looks, you can now begin inserting the text for your video. So in order to do this, you first need to get your text. We'll just simply get it from 11 Labs, and what you want to do is copy the first sentence of your speech, come back over to InVideo, and then you want to double click on the text holder, and then as you can see, it's going to open this little box where you can edit the text. You want to delete this, and then you want to paste in the sentence. That's simple. And now that we've done this, as you can see, some of our text may be a little hard to read, what I recommend you do is add a background shadow. In order to do this, what you want to do is come over to where it says text effects and then you see this text shadow, all you want to do is turn it on. Now our first sentence is in. So from here, what you want to do is play a video, listen to the part where he stops saying this sentence. And once you get to that part, what you want to do is again ensuring that you have the text selected. You see this cut button here, you want to click split. And now this is going to split your text into two different ones. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and add in the second text that he says. You'll simply go on over to 11 Labs, copy the second sentence, come back over to InVideo, ensuring that you have the second part selected again, not the first part, the second one. Double click onto it, remove the previous text, paste this in. Now we have the first text and if we go here, it's changed to the second one. So what you're going to do is the same thing. You're going to play this, and see where he stops talking. You're going to ensure that you have it clicked, cut it, and then you're going to copy and paste the next sentence from 11 Labs. And then you're going to keep doing this for the entirety of your video. And now once you've added in all the text, your video is complete. Now I know you want to see what this looks like, but let me first show you how to download the video. Once you've done your video, in order to download it, what you want to do is click onto where it says export and shine 1080p selected, click export, and then your video will begin exporting and then you can download it to your computer so that you can upload it to YouTube. So now let's take a look at what this video looks like. Let's start with a simple truth that each one of us can relate to. We've all failed at some point in our lives. Yes, you heard me right. Failure is an inevitable part of the human experience, an essential chapter in the book of success. It's in these moments of disappointment and heartache that we truly discover what we're made of what it means to rise from the ashes and rewrite our destinies. You see, when you stumble and fall, when the world feels like it's crumbling around you, it's easy to lose hope. It's easy to question your worth, your capabilities, and even your dreams. But I want you to remember something vital. Failure doesn't define you. It refines you. It's the ultimate teacher, the mentor of champions, the compass guiding you towards greatness. Thank you, thank you, and great job to you too because at this point in the video, you should have had your video done and that wasn't hard at all to do. But hold on now, before you click off this video and rush to do this, I know you're excited. You need to know how to do this next step because if you do this part wrong, I could almost guarantee your video might not get any views whatsoever. The most important thing you need is your thumbnail. No matter how good your video is or how inspiring in this case, if your thumbnail isn't good, your video just won't get any clicks to begin with. So in order to create this good thumbnail, we're going to be using Canva. You can find a link for Canva in the description of this video. Now once on Canva, what you want to do is come on over to the search bar and do a search for YouTube thumbnail and then hit enter. 
and then it's going to take you to this page what you want to click on is create a blank youtube thumbnail then it's going to take you to this blank canvas where you can begin generating the thumbnail now here's the thing with this type of thumbnails you're not going to just generate a random thumbnail from scratch no what we're going to do is come back over to youtube and as you can see i've simply done a search for motivational speech now from here take a look at these thumbnails for these videos what can you notice they all depict emotion especially this one this one is depicting a lot of emotion this is what you want to generate with your thumbnails to get views in this niche thumbnails which depict emotion now in order to do this you need the face you need a face of somebody who's depicting emotion are you gonna go take a picture of yourself i don't think so instead what you need is pictures of somebody else depicting emotion now in order to get these copyright free pictures what you're going to do is come on over to pixels now once on pixels in this search bar you can go ahead to search for an image that depicts the feeling that you want your video or your thumbnail to depict so in this case i'm going to do a search for determination man and then once you've done this you want to scroll through all the images that pixels has given you and then choose the one whose face looks like it depicts a lot of emotion so right here these two seem to be giving the right amount of emotion i want but this one just seems to be the winner this one this one is the winner so once you've found a picture that's a winner in order to download it it's very simple all you need to do is hover over the image and click download now once you have this downloaded you want to come on back over to canva and then import the picture into the upload section that you just got from pixels and now that you have your image imported in I'm about to show you the secret about how we're going to make this thumbnail really epic. In order to do this, the first thing you want to do is crop the image for just his face. And from here, we can now go ahead to extend this to fit the whole scene. So now once you have your image in, pay attention to this part. It's very easy, but it can confuse some of you. What you want to do is click on this button which says duplicate to duplicate this page. So now you have two of him. Now on the second page, what you want to do is click on your image click where it says edit photo and then click background remover so now as you can see we have him there with no background and we have him here with a background so this will be the background of our image going back to these images you notice all of their backgrounds are pretty dark if we look at our background it's too bright so we need to make it dark in order to do this you're going to click onto him click where it says edit photo click adjust and then all you want to do is play with the settings to make this background darker now that i've done with that this is what we're working with we obviously can't use this because what is this no instead here's what we're going to do we're going to take him from this scene and we're going to put him there in order to do this what you want to do is copy him come on over to this scene make sure you click onto it and then all you need to do is click paste and now as you can see he's been added onto the scene onto our canvas so we can just adjust him to make sure he's rightly positioned and now look at him so from here you can click onto him click edit photo click adjust and edit him further till you get him to a way you think that he looks best now as you can see i have edited him and this is what we're working with so the next thing you need to do is add in some text on your thumbnail to make it stand out in order to do this it's very simple what you want to do is click onto where it says text click add a heading and then type in the text that you want to add onto your thumbnail so now as you can see i have typed in my text what i need to do now is adjust my text in order to adjust your text and show that it is selected at the top here as you can see you could adjust the different type of font the sizing the color in order to get your text to the way you prefer so now as you can see i've adjusted my text and made the top font yellow and now after this you want to adjust your text somewhere on your thumbnail that it fits best so now as you can see your thumbnail is done your thumbnail is complete and if you take a look right here see how well this fits within all the other thumbnails the yellow even makes it stand out a little bit more against the others which gives you a higher chance of getting clicks now you know exactly what you need to do in order to create this channel and have it set up for success and if you want to learn more from me then you need to check out this other video on my channel